fear, uncertainty, and self-doubt are all raw feelings that we all experience when considering the idea of starting a business. And it's pretty normal to fear the unknown. I've been there as well. The problem is when you start to self-sabotage and start thinking of all the different ways that you could fail before even starting. Self-sabotage can lead to procrastinating, which could also psych you out of starting your very own Etsy business. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about what slows down most Etsy sellers and what you can do differently to conquer your fear. So if you are scared of starting an Etsy business, this is a perfect video for you because a lot of the points that I'm gonna be talking about probably resonate with you. Let's make a mindset shift that gets you on the right track to starting an Etsy store in 2022. Hi, and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Nancy, and I help Etsy sellers turn their passions into profits. Make sure to subscribe for weekly videos, and let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first mistake that many Etsy sellers make is waiting for the right time. And the perfect time to start your Etsy business is now. There's never been a better moment then right this instant for you to take action and go from being just another person dreaming about what could happen into building something amazing. So keep growing, keep learning, and keep moving forward. You can't be great if you don't commit to the first step. So the more you wait, the further your progress is. The sooner you start, the earlier you will see change. So always keep that in mind. Mistake number two is overthinking everything. So stop doubting yourself or thinking that you're not good enough. And it's normal to experience feelings of doubt when we are faced with new or challenging situations. I know I have had self-doubt about myself as well. And usually when we are battling with self-doubt, we tend to over-exaggerate the abilities of others and diminish our own by comparison. So here's some things that you could start doing when self-doubt starts to creep in, which most likely will. Number one, know you are not alone. Many of us have struggled with self-doubt. Number two is set short-term goals. Number three, surround yourself with the right people. And number four is work on your mindset is the key to success and happiness. Now, if you're ready to turn your passion into a living with XE, make sure to grab my XE Mastery course today. You will learn the exact steps needed to be taken to start, manage, and scale your XE shop to a full-time income. I'm gonna leave the link in the comments below so you can learn more. Mistake number three is prepare to fail. So do not fear failure. There's one thing for sure. You will fail before you succeed. Expect failure, but don't fear it. Think of it as a normal part of your business. It's necessary. It is good for your business. It teaches you a lot. It helps you make the right decision the next time. And mistake number four is scare of what others would think. So by taking deliberate and purposeful action to overcome the fear of what other thinks of you, you will slowly regain your freedom to do what you want to do. And guys, there will always be people judging us no matter how perfect or imperfect our actions are. So don't play it safe because you're afraid of others or what others would think of you. You only live once, so make it count and go after your dreams. Now, I will leave you with one of my favorite quotes. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great by Zig Ziglar. So let me know in the comments below, what is your biggest challenge when it comes to starting an XE business. And maybe I could help you get started in 2022 the right way. Thanks for watching.